Well, things are not looking good across the Central Plains as we head into Monday. And I'll tell you, further east, we're going to see storms too through the Ohio Valley, maybe even as far north as the Great Lakes as we head into Tuesday. So let's break it all down for you. We're going to start across the plains. That's where the severe weather threat will be on Monday. Storms will fire into the afternoon and evening hours here from Nebraska south into Kansas and Oklahoma. The strongest threat for tornadoes, at least the highest threat, will be across Kansas and Oklahoma. This is the future radar through the overnight hours. Notice how things start to get more linear in fashion. The storms lining up versus being super cellular. That could lead to some damaging winds as those storms bow out through the overnight hours. So here we are at the midnight hour through the early morning hours on Tuesday. So now Iowa, Missouri, all the way down into Arkansas, these storms may impact you through the overnight hours. Let's look at the culprit. This jet streak that's swinging out of the four corner states will continue to just streak off to the east as we move through the day into Monday night and Tuesday. We've also got a lot of moisture streaming north. I'm going to back things up a little bit through the day Monday. You can just see that flow off the Gulf and here comes your dry air punching in from the west. That will initiate those storms at first. A lot of warm air around through the day on Monday too. Instability will be there and plus we've got a lot of low level uh, wind bringing in that moisture off the Gulf. Also, as you go aloft, winds will change direction with height. So a lot of bulk wind shear leading to the potential for some strong tornadoes. Now the Storm Prediction Center has highlighted southern Kansas all the way almost down to the north Texas border. Uh, a lot of Oklahoma does include Oklahoma City, Wichita, Kansas. You are in that moderate risk outlook. I don't want to downplay this enhanced area either, this area that's been marked in the orange. That includes Tulsa, Lincoln, up to uh, and as far north as Lincoln, I should say. And then overnight, you're going to watch these storms into Iowa, also Missouri, and down into Arkansas. So Kansas City, all the way over to Springfield through the overnight hours. Really Kansas City earlier, and of course as you go east, uh, that threat will be a little, little bit later through the overnight hours. Tornado, definitely high. Storm Prediction Center has already hashed this area out with these significant severe markings here. Down to the Texas border here, and then right here, that bullseye across central Oklahoma. You know, there was some question a couple of days ago, does it include southern Oklahoma? I think it does. I think it goes all the way to the Texas border here, even though your main low is back here. You want to be weather aware on Monday in these areas. Big hail, definitely possible. You're going to get a lot of strong updrafts with these storms. Let's move ahead. Now we're moving into Tuesday. Your primary low is still back up here. Uh, and then these storms will initially be going here in the early morning hours of Tuesday. These kind of fall apart through the early morning hours. Not nearly, well, I shouldn't say fall apart. They're not going to be as strong. But as we move into Tuesday afternoon, a new area will start to fire here across the Ohio River Valley. So Indianapolis up to Columbus, right along the Ohio River, down to Memphis, and then even Little Rock. Uh, you've got to keep an eye on anything that starts to fire up into the afternoon and evening hours here. Some rotation possible, some tornadoes. At this point, not as strong as what we're seeing across the plains, but this is day three. So we've still got some time to iron this out. That would be heading into Tuesday. Now, after Tuesday, what happens? Well, look at this. I don't want to gloss over what's happening across the west either. We still have some snow going here into the Rockies. But across the east, we have another low starting to form. It will deepen as it moves into the Ohio Valley. That is going to increase our severe weather threat again. I showed you Tuesday. This is Wednesday. So some of the same areas that are going to see the storms on Tuesday will have another round of severe thunderstorms on Wednesday. And then all of that heads off to the east and really starts to usher in the change that's coming as we head into the weekend. I've been talking about this for the last week or so. I think it's going to happen. It's getting much closer now. We're starting to see things get refined. A cold setup for the east heading into the weekend. That's next weekend, Saturday, Sunday, into Monday. So I was eyeballing the 10th through the 15th. That's kind of what we're seeing come to pass uh, and uh, definitely could lead to some cool weather. Oh, there's your snow totals. I kind of went right through that pretty quick across the west. Some places in the mountains could see more than a foot, especially in the higher elevations. And then in, into the weekend across the east, here comes that low that's moving through the Ohio Valley that could bring some severe weather there on, what, Tuesday and Wednesday. As we head into the weekend, uh, look at this here across the northeast. How about that? Into the higher elevations of Maine, New Hampshire. Does a little bit of snow try to mix in? Maybe so. 
And then here comes some reinforcing sh cold here across the Great Lakes. I mean, it is May, but still we're talking about showery, cloudy, damp, cold conditions, temperatures, Saturday, well below average. I'm going to back things up just a little bit. Here comes that first shot of cold air, if you will. And, you know, you're going to see temperatures in the Northeast at times, maybe 20 degrees below average. What does that look like on your thermometer? Well, waking up Saturday morning, we could be in the 30s, widespread 40s. And look even across the South, low temperatures in the 40s from Tennessee over to North Carolina. The good news is it's not looking super, super cold for a freeze if you're across the South, but across the Great Lakes into the Northeast, you know, you get temperatures dropping into the 30s at night. Yeah, there could be some frost. That will be something to watch as we get closer into the weekend. Temperatures on Sunday, this is Sunday afternoon, struggling to get to 50 across the Northeast. Some areas may not get uh, much into the 40s across Maine. Things change though, finally though, as we head into Monday, more widespread warmth. And then we finally get that pushing even further north on Tuesday. All right, that's all I got, guys. If you've not subscribed to the channel, I hope you will if you like this kind of stuff. I try to put a video out through the summertime, at least every couple of days when there's severe weather going on more often. But I'm always updating X right now. So if you head over there, WX Travis, that's my handle. I'll see you there, and I'll see you next time right here on YouTube.